And right here, we've got the Eiffel Tower from Paris. Open in October 2018, Terminal 21 is the most recent addition to the Terminal 21 franchise. It consists of six stories with each floor decorated in a different theme inspired by world famous shopping destinations from around the world, delivering a unique and nostalgic shopping experience. Today is a bit of a gloomy day here in Patea, so we've come to Terminal 21 to grab something to eat and possibly do a little bit of shopping and show you guys what Terminal 21 looks like in 2021. Wow, first impression, it's bustling in here. There's quite a few people out and I think it's a Friday. So Terminal 21 is actually themed off being like an airport and each floor has their own like city name or country name. So right now we're on the um, London floor and if we go one floor up, we go to the Italy floor. I don't know why they just didn't stick to uh, city names rather than mixing it around with country and city names. It's kind of cool like because when you go to the next floor it says you depart from and then when you go to the next floor it says you arrive at Paris or you arrive at Italy which is awesome. Okay so we're departing from London and heading to Italy. Right so I think at the front, the middle and the end of the shopping mall depending on which side you enter from uh, they all have these gigantic structures uh, modelled after obviously monuments around the world. And right here, we've got the Eiffel Tower from Paris. And then just over here at the front of the Terminal 21 entrance is this huge replica of the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. There is so much to choose from here at Terminal 21 when it comes to restaurants. There isn't a particular floor dedicated to anything apart from the fourth floor which is dedicated to Japanese cuisine. But even up here there's Japanese cuisine so it's all kind of like mixed throughout the floors. The majority of the restaurants and small food vendors in the mall are located on the third floor which has a San Francisco motif with all the renowned city trams and city signs. It was up here we had some mouth-watering Korean barbecue buffet for lunch and cat ice cream for dessert. It seems as though like there are a lot of places here in Thailand that actually take inspiration from uh, many other places around the world. It's, it's not just this shopping center, I've seen it elsewhere like the restaurant we went to yesterday, uh, Castello di Bellagio is obviously based off Bellagio in Italy. I'm not sure if it's an Asian thing, I think it is like I know Japan does this as well. I think I'm gonna have to buy some stuff, you know, from here. All right, I'll come back later because uh, this looks lit. Whoa! Look at this street. I found like a hidden street. Oh, there's shutters closed here, but still, nonetheless, it's all Japanese-related items. Oh no! Why is this closed as well? Okari nasai. Look at these masks. Awesome. <laughs> Right, where's the nearest toilet that's actually operational? There's quite a few toy shops closed down, isn't there? Oh, this is pretty too. Look, this is a toilet, but it's like a Japanese onsen. Wow. How amazing is this? Wow, look at the detail on this, man. I can't stress enough how much this place rocks. What? I have just stepped into Japan right now. Look at this. Let me shoot that again. Yo, what is actually going on here? This is impressive. I've actually been transported to Japan just by entering this restroom. I'm absolutely lost for words. I mean, these materials may not necessarily be real, but it sure does look real. What's down this side? Oh, and they've got the toilets as well, with like the rice. Oh, sorry, somebody's in there. I can't believe I'm reviewing toilets. <laughs> this is insane. This is one of the best toilets I've ever been to in my life. Though. Hey, how does this work? Oh, it's a sensor. If you're coming to Terminal 21, then you want to go and pick yourself the best toilet. Come to the Japanese one. Oh, this reminds me of like uh, Magome and Sumago in Japan, near Nagoya. It's like one of these old samurai villages. Most of these shops are empty as well. So if anybody did want to start a business up here, 
they certainly could especially any sort of Japanese restaurant it's a very good business opportunity wow this is super forward thinking from Thailand yet again look at this shopping mall if you're on this particular floor the Tokyo floor rather than having to go down and take each of the individual escalators you could take this one right here that bypasses all the floors and takes you right to the exit how cool is that so if I'm going to pick a favorite floor I think it would have to be the fourth floor um, and that's not just because I'm some sort of Japanese fanboy which uh, I kind of am uh, but hush hush um, it's just got really nice clothing and all sorts of items and apparel and restaurants and it's really done nicely like the decor is really reminiscent of Japan like sorry second floor in the UK what would this be called let's see first second third oh so it's actually really the third floor but yeah the uh, floor convention in Thailand works a little bit differently to how it works in the UK like yo I could literally spend all day walking around these little Japanese aisles in this terminal 21 and yet again I need to go and find where my girlfriend is you know what I see you I see you actually but what I do have are a very particular set of skills I'm going to try and creep up to you without you seeing me you know if I stay behind these clothes it's a good camouflage everyone's looking at me like some creep for which I kind of am acting like a creep but anyway they don't understand what I'm doing did you see a girl in a two-piece red outfit no no I don't think they understand all right I'm gonna go over here oh I see her I see her I see her I see her she's looking around you see her over there in the distance she's just gone behind that red shop over there okay we're close I was gonna go around, I always got you, I always got you. I spotted you from the other side. Well, anyway, let's get ourselves an Amazon coffee. A brilliant segue to getting ourselves a coffee of the day from Amazon. I can order, let me let me show off my Thai. Sawadee okay. kab. Uh, iced black coffee, may one. Logo. Uh, iced cappuccino, one noi. Cop and cow. Wow, look at that. Can I get a round of applause? While we're waiting for Amazon coffee, Let's take a look at this little wonderful shop called Sugar Daddy. 250 baht. 250 baht. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Pop on cab. Thank you. Oh, Mergen Vlogs. Just a... Oh, no, no, no. The dashboard is the... I'm wrong. No, dashboard is like... Um... <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's just the uh, analytics. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Just got a new subscriber to the channel, people. We're on 621, a thousand by the end of this year, hopefully. Let's share the videos, people. I've not actually ventured over this side. Let's go this way. Go, go, go. Oh, ja matare tsuyoi. Yokata. Whoa. It's written in the font in Sega, and that has to be Mario 64 font there. We've got a bunch of huge oversized toys here. Oh. And they've also got like some sort of rooftop uh, water park too here at Terminal 21. Look at that. I actually don't know how to access that. This right here was a Super Nintendo controller. Oh, it says don't sit on it, so I'm not going to sit on it. Oh, this is a seating area. Okay. Just for scale. Oh, you like the fashion here, right? Anyway, while you're exploring over there, I'm going to show the people the arcade that's just over here. Look at this. Why is everything off? Why don't they just power it on? Take shit! Imagine this place where it's like really busy and uh, all the tourists come back. This place would be an absolute vibe. Anyway, that was a mini tour of the Take shit. Street Arcade here at Terminal 21 on the Tokyo floor. So speaking to the store owner of Kanakwan, she has told us that actually the pool on the top floor is only accessible for customers that stay at the hotel. It's a bit of a disappointment, but that would have been awesome if we could have shown you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here while my girlfriend grabs some clothing from this shop here. 
Anyway, look, this is a shirt that I've just picked up from this little store here. And it kind of looks alright, apparently, according to my girlfriend. It feels a bit small, but I do like the style of it. And it's also got like the uh, the straw hats, that's it. It looks kind of fire. But I haven't even seen myself in the mirror. Oh, I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I can try some of this. Would you buy this? Let me know in the comments if you would buy this shirt. Anyway, I can't seem to find anything else I particularly like, so let's move on to a different shop. Welcome to Venice. Andorra. Yeah, well done. Well done. Can you actually sit in one? Yes. No, you're joking. I'm sitting on a gondola in Venice, Italy, in Terminal 21, in Patea. I've actually made a couple videos when I was in Venice in 2019 on the channel. So uh, if you're interested in seeing what those videos look like, definitely check those out. Yeah, I didn't go on a gondola though in Italy because it was like 80 euros for 30 minutes. Anyway, I think we're done here. That's very comfortable. Very nice design as well that you can actually step down there and go onto the gondola. I'm just realized like while looking upwards, they've got like the Italian windows along the exterior of these shops. Casa del Patea. Oh my God, I can't believe how much detail there is in this shopping mall. I wish shopping malls in the UK were as fun as they are in Thailand. The UK needs to up their game when it comes to like designing their shopping malls and making it entertaining. Roma this way, Servizio Gondola this way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you tried sneaking up on me, I saw you in my periphery. <laughs> right, I think I know why now they've actually named the floor after the country of Italy and rather than a city of Italy because they've got like Venice over there they've got Pisa over here they've got Roma over there I don't know who that's supposed to be it could be Michelangelo it could be uh, Caesar I don't know who knows they need to spend too much time over there but that's the Oscar award there <laughs> we haven't really explored the London floor too much but I don't think they've gone into a lot of detail oh man I haven't given this place any sort of attention while being here even though this is the city I'm from. Let's see if they've done this place justice. Oh, look, there's Camden Lock over there. I'm literally having to do a speed run because uh, my battery's running low. Where is this supposed to be in London? This is supposed to be like King's Cross or like St. Pancras. They've got the famous Harry Potter trolley. But this is not platform nine and three quarters. This is platform 21 and three quarters. <laughs> look, they've got the hour there. Obviously, they're going to have a red telephone box. Can you actually go inside of this? Yes, you can. Look at this. But there is no telephone in there. Oh, we've got one of the old 38 buses. Look, you know what? When I was a kid, these used to be around London everywhere. But um, they actually stopped making these because they were like deemed dangerous. And also, this was the only way you could get on them. There was no door. And so it was actually very difficult for like people with families, people with kids, trolleys, uh, disabled users to access these bus, so they made them obsolete. Piccadilly Circus, London Arcade, Park Prison, Lyft Restaurant. I think that's pretty much it for the London floor. This obviously takes inspiration from Trafalgar Square, the Four Lions. I don't know why they don't have an Olsen's column, it'd be kind of awesome to have it there, but it probably wouldn't fit. Oh, we were here just a second ago, but I didn't realise there was a train as well. Oh my gosh, the train to Hogwarts. Look at this. British culture summarized in one. Patea 21 Railways. Oh, I've got the toilets here as well. It's cool. Okay, you know what, people? I think I'm done for today. Okay, many thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share with friends and family. And I will catch you in the next video. Until then, take care, and I'm out.